Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. What was John Kerry doing in Paris Saturday at noon with three Iranian diplomats? Media outlet headlines have been dominated over discussion regarding the current White House administration decided to pull out of the Iranian nuclear deal from the Obama administration. While Democrats are furious, Republicans and the American public are elated. It is officially over despite former Secretary of State John Kerry's attempts to try and thwart its ending when he met with Iranian diplomats in Paris, France. But Iran is pissed now that Kerry's efforts did not work and they are looking for blood. Iran's foreign ministry spokesman threatened. 100% fed up reported. Our previous report on John Kerry's curious visit with Iranian diplomats in Paris, France, the always arrogant John Kerry is at it again. So John Kerry just left a meeting at L'Avenue in Paris W slash three Iranians. A friend was sitting next to their table and heard JK blasting at real Donald Trump. The Iranians had a five-person security detail and left in diplomatic vehicles. Is he far registered? What was John Kerry doing in Paris Saturday at noon with three Iranian diplomats, while his president, Donald Trump, had just cancelled the nuclear agreements? Obviously. The former catastrophic diplomat who cannot even stand on a bike does not fear being prosecuted for treason against his country, he is a Democrat, and therefore he is protected. Admittedly, the FBI has indicted Michael Flynn, the national security adviser to President-elect Trump, for identical but less serious reasons, he spoke with Russians during a cocktail party while he was still a simple citizen, Flynn is a Republican, all the force of the law apply. And of course, the media won't say a word about it collusion with a foreign power, it only interests them if they can accuse President Trump. Iran has not been taking kindly to the United States' recent actions regarding the Iran deal. Iranian President Hassan Rouhani told media outlets on Sunday that so long as Tehran's interests remain protected that Iran is willing to remain within the 2015 nuclear deal. He and his foreign minister indicated they are interested in having it redesigned without the United States. Lambasting the United States' withdrawal as a violation of morals, Rouhani said that if the remaining five countries in the agreement want to stay so will Iran. The Huffington Post reported, Rouhani made similarly conciliatory comments on Tuesday, and on Saturday his foreign minister, Mohammad Javad Zarif, embarked on a tour of other signatory nations to the accord, state media reported, in a last-ditch effort to save it. After arriving in Beijing on Sunday, Zarif said, we hope that with this visit to China and other countries we will be able to construct a clear future designed for the comprehensive, nuclear, agreement. China's foreign minister Wang Yi said he believed Zarif's tour would improve countries' understanding of Iran's position and help Tehran protect its legitimate national interests. Rouhani has said Iran would stay committed to the deal, which Britain, China, France, Germany and Russia also signed provided those powers could ensure Iran was protected from sanctions against key sectors of its economy such as oil. The three European states have also recommitted to the agreement, but senior cleric Ayatollah Ahmad Hatami told worshippers at Tehran University on Friday that Europe was not to be trusted. The head of the elite Revolutionary Guards also warned against relying on foreign powers to guarantee Iran's interests. America's exit aims to break the Iranian people's resistance, which is not new. But today's problem is not U.S. sanctions, it's that some officials look towards outside rather than looking at domestic potentials, Guards Commander General Muhammad Ali Jafari said, the state news agency Erna reported. On Wednesday, Jafari had cast out on European nations' ability to save the nuclear accord. With the deal on shaky ground in the face of fierce opposition from hardliners at home, some analysts say the pragmatic Rouhani faces the prospect of serving out his second term as a lame duck leader. Whatever this nuclear deal means for Iran is irrelevant. The current administration made the decision to come out in order to put America first. The Iran deal did not benefit the United States, only Iran. And Iranian politicians should not be emboldened to fund their nuclear program. Under the deal sanctions were lifted, United Nations resolutions regarding Iran were annulled, and the European Union were forced to remove energy and banking sanctions. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.